and a vet center for all types of animals, not just dogs and cats. Community support is a big help making sure they have all the funds to run those services. And going on this weekend is the Pet Walk, which provides you with a great chance to support this wonderful organization. It's a 30, 31 year tradition. Uh, joining us with more is its CEO, Martha Bowden. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having us. So tell us about the Pet Walk on Saturday. So it's 31 years old, which is fantastic, and it's a celebration of all the fundraising that people who care about animals and the people who love them have been doing for the past several months. We're over $100,000 raised already and well on our goal, wow. way to our goal. So where, where is this happening and what can folks expect once they get there? So it's at North Straub Park in uh, downtown St. Pete, and it's going to be just a wonderful morning of pet-related vendors and celebrations. There's a pet costume contest that you can <laughs> um, register for, and then we do a, a short walk around the Vinoy Hotel, and it's just a lovely chance to celebrate with your pet. Community support, donations, volunteerism is so important. Mm -hmm. Tell our viewers how important you all stretch every dollar. Well, it takes about $25 a day per animal to do the work that we do. And we see 20 new animals on average mm -hmm. every day. So that's a combination of cats and dogs and hamsters and guinea pigs, pigs and possums and parrots. <laughs> we see wildlife, we see livestock, we see them all. And we couldn't do it without the community support. Is it, uh, is it something that you think folks understand how important the community support is, how being part of a walk does in fact make a difference to the bottom line and funding a program? Well, we've been at it for 31 years, so that tells me this community has a real commitment to making a big difference. But of course, we would love more and more people to participate in the walk. And you get this fabulous t-shirt, which will be available, I think, starting tomorrow for the first $25 that you raise. Mm -hmm. Of course, we'd love to see everybody raise as much as they can because the difference for the animals, like Daisy, um, is immense. So how many folks do you have already registered? And Gosh. is there still room? Always room. More? There's always room. I, I want to say uh, it's on our website, which is petwalk.org, um, but uh, you can also um, uh, get more information from our main website, mm -hmm. which is spcatampabay.org. And I want to say there are about 600 people registered so far. I know there are over 300 teams. So sometimes the teams have a tendency to multiply. Wow, that's so exciting. Do you have repeat teams that come in? We do, we do. <laughs> we have some folks that are very, very skilled at this and have been at this for years and put, get into a little competition with each other, which is fantastic to see to who can raise the most money, who can have the biggest team. It's really fun to see the, the team spirit come out. When everyone is out there, they're able to share their stories of adopting the pets and, mm -hmm. and how pets have made such a big difference for them, especially during the last two years of the pandemic. Um, what, what do you look forward to when you go to the pet walk every year? It is probably one of the most joyful events I ever participate in. There was just so much excitement about one being outside, doing something with your pets. It may be a little rainy this weekend, but you know, particular people who have their dogs know it's rain or shine, so we'll <laughs> be out there unless somebody tells us it's too dangerous. But it should be just a, a great weekend, a great chance to celebrate and be together in a safe place yeah. and have some fun. And even if you're not walking, I mean, you all will have information there on the SPCA Tampa Bay, so folks that are passing by can learn also about the organization. Yes, absolutely, as well as a number of vendors. So we'll have people who sell stuff specific for pets, and we may have some folks that are sharing information about other uh, organizations that have pets available for adoption. Um, the St. Pete Paws Group is going to be there. Pinellas County Animal Services will be there. So lots of different resources. Mm -hmm. People who care about animals in this community have a chance to participate and just having a fun day. Well, congratulations. 31-year tradition and going strong. Mm -hmm. Tell our re viewers where they can go for the details on Saturday's walk. Petwalk.org will give you all the information you need for registering and when to show up on Saturday. Thank you for bringing this cutie pie. You betcha. Good job, Daisy. <laughs> And a quick shout out and thanks to our friends at Pet Supermarket. Whether your pets swim, crawl, or fetch the ball, we have your pet's favorite brands. Pet Supermarket. We speak pet.